Sorry, pardon me? Yeah, you know, it's kind Excuse of... Me. Sorry, thanks, guys. Right. So I had... Whenever you all this is what it looks like behind the scenes. So here we have two complete dungeons, one to our left, one to our right. This is our outdoor adventure. This more on the right, more of a combat oriented one. On the other side is going to be more puzzles. So they kind of try and build efficiently and have our uh, player, our, our, our uh, volunteer space where we move around with our props, etc. Except for a few staff members, True Dungeon is run entirely by volunteers, and they're all amazing people. I had a chance to talk to a few volunteers while behind the scenes, and while the video quality might not be that good, they all had interesting experiences to share about True Dungeon. Uh, I'm an NPC or a blue hand, and I'm running the golem puppet for the dungeon. Uh, I get to stand behind this big puppet thing with these arm things that I move around and <laughs> try to scare. It's awesome. So now we can see you. Yeah, now we can okay. see me. Oh boy. <laughs> Do you have a name for your golem? Um, I think he has a name, but I don't know what it is. I've been calling him Bob. <laughs> I like Bob. Bob is what I named it. Yeah. Bob has name. a really freaky... Uh, Bob's a little terrifying, I suppose. <laughs> He's got a little... Oh my god! <laughs> so how many uh, years have you been volunteering for? Um, this is my... Third or fourth year. Either three or four. <laughs> I've lost track. They kind of run together. Did you start as a player? Or? Yeah, yep, yep. I went, I started as a player and then I'm like, hmm, I want to help with that because it's cool. Yeah. So I started volunteering and, and yeah, usually they cast me as an NPC or a blue hand. So move the puppets around and dress up in silly co costumes. What's been your favorite year so far? Just uh, either as a volunteer or as a player. Like epic moments. I think the first year, the first year that I went through the dungeon and one of the puzzles was the answer was figuring out musical staves on the wall. And I was the only one in my group that figured out that the staves in the clue was the, the lines on the wall were like the lines of the treble clef. And I'm like, ah! That's cool! That was like room two the first year that I did it. And I'm like, this is really cool. We <laughs> should do this again. This is Chris, and while he's volunteered for three years, he has one very surprising secret. Uh, I actually have never played. You, you I'm are going... the first person I've talked to that has never played. I'm doing my first run tomorrow. Are you excited? Absolutely. You... I've been wanting to do a run for a long time. Your favorite year so far? Like favorite monster, favorite room, favorite encounter? I think it was 2011 maybe. There was this, I was a room, um, it was all like, with all these Christmas lights and the mirror and um, you had to spell out a message and the message I believe said, he shall be hexed. And it was like, because you had to, because there, there was a mirror and like the bottom part of each letter was showed up, was show up in the mirror so you could read the message. Chris was actually the DM for the room with the golem, and he let me listen to some of the sound effects. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> you may have defeated me, but I have a last laugh. No. This entire tower will explode in 15 minutes. There's no way you can stop it, and there's no way you can escape my tower in time. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! You can actually step in here. Props. Can't, can't see any of it. This is the super secret behind the scenes lair. And I just gotta tell you guys, the stuff back here is amazing. I wish you could see it. It's just fabulous. Oh my god. That is amazing. The shadow and light that you see me follow in a lot of this footage is actually Stuart, the dungeon director this year. He was nice enough to take me around to all the rooms, give me behind the scene info, and introduce me to a lot of the awesome volunteers. My name is Linda Pialius. I've been working with True Dungeon as a volunteer since 2006. The first time I played was 2005 in SoCal, back when we actually still had SoCal to go to. I think, um, you know, one of my favorite moments was actually the first year I got to volunteer because I was an NPC slash DM so I got to be a drow and just be mean to everybody that came into the room which some of these people try to say oh you're always so nice and it's like no I'm not 
See, put me in the draw outfit, you'll get the real me. So, but yeah, that was great. Actually, everything since then has been awesome too. So, just a great event. They start building on Monday, um, putting up the walls and everything. Then on Tuesday, we started doing some of the electrical work. Then start working on bringing in the props and everything and try to get that done um, kind of late afternoon on Wednesday and then we have to go through the training of all the DMs and the NPCs and everything. Is Shoot Engine your Gen Con, would you say? It has been for the past four or five years, yes. Yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> awesome. We have basically pulled you in fully. She's one of our account coordinators, which means really she is in charge of, of a dungeon that we walk through, two of them in fact, so she keeps track of it, trains, takes care of fires, pretty much just got off shift after a long yesterday and today, and um, we couldn't do it without the adventure coordinators. I was trying to avoid me having to talk a long time. You talked enough to I've talked a lot today. Which is why I'm recording him on the fly. Now there we go. <laughs> You need a cleric slider? Cleric slider. Column five. I'll be there in a minute. Sorry, I gotta run. No Player, players need. We never stop, right? Thanks, Thanks Tiffany. Have a good night. Stuart and everyone at True Dungeon were just amazingly awesome and very welcoming. They obviously have the player's best interest in mind. I watched a lot of groups go by and I watched a lot of strangers become friends through this event. There are stories, so many stories, of players meeting at True Dungeon and just becoming lifetime friends. It's an immersive experience put on by volunteers and staff that truly care about the adventure. If you ever have the opportunity, I highly recommend that you explore True Dungeon. And that is True Dungeon.